Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. You know, one of the things that I was raised in, really, really steeped in, was the understanding that you look out for your family and, and that you protect your land. Uh, I, I grew up in the Ozark Mountains among hillbillies, and, and when I say that, I'm not just joking. I am talking about hardcore beliefs that, that it was our clan, our tribe, our group, and the folks on the other side of the holler, well, they were not us. And then I encountered Jesus in the Gospels. And I encountered in that Gospel something that was beyond blood and beyond land. And, and I've started more and more realizing just how impacting that is to the core of my being and my understanding about the world I live in. When you go back and look at the Old Testament, you, you see the lessons that, that God was teaching the people of Israel. In fact, one of the rules that the God was teaching the people of Israel was that they weren't allowed to treat people differently simply because they weren't uh, by blood or by land Israelite or Jewish or Hebrew. He, he says, you know, this is how you, when you have strangers passing through your land, you should bless them in Exodus, he tells us this. In Exodus and in Deuteronomy, there are instructions that when you have an immigrant living among you, a resident alien, someone who's immigrated to your country, that you are to treat them the way that you would treat uh, uh, your brother, your sister, anyone within the family. You're, you're to lift them up because you yourselves were strangers in a strange land. You yourselves wandered through the land of Egypt and know what that means. When you look at the, the Gospels as well as the letters of Paul, as Paul goes about traveling through the Mediterranean world, he's going crossing boundaries, crossing different tribes and territories. He's visiting the folks in the other holler, and as well as my holler, and he's telling us all the simple thing that the Gospel in Jesus Christ is way beyond my country, way beyond my people, way beyond my ethnocentric understanding of who I am, well beyond my being a hillbilly, well beyond my being a white man, well beyond any of this. The gospel teaches us that love is God is love, and that this love is a love that chooses all humanity and chooses the diversity that is what, what, what it means to be human beings and says we've got to learn to love each other. If we want to love God, if we want to truly love God, we've also got to learn how to love and respect and care for each other. In this world, this, the kingdom of God is meant to be here among us. We are strangers in a strange land. And that our lives are devoted to the gospel, our allegiance is to God and the kingdom of God. That's to whom we, we, we vow, that we, we promise that we live out our oath, our duty. We follow God. And by doing so, the lines get blurred about blood and land because we start seeing each other in a totally different understanding. We start seeing our, our, our brothers and sisters our siblings and we start seeing them through the lens of Christ. Christ who came and interacted with Jews, Gentiles, Romans, Syrophoenicians, and anyone else because he loves. He's chosen to love us and he's chosen to make those lines not just disappear but become places where we encounter each other and love one another. Think about the ways that you are strange and different and love strange and different around you today. In the name of Jesus.